What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into today's video guys, we are now officially 17 subs away from 200 guys. We are getting there. We are getting closer and closer to the goal of 200. I'm in shock right now. I am super in shock right now, but you guys are awesome. I love you guys. You guys are, are incredible. We're getting there guys, 200 subs. Let's see if we can make it happen. 200 subs by the end of the summer because the moment we get to 200 subs, I will open up this Korean Strike of Neos booster box in its entirety on the channel on the hopes to potentially pull this guy, Elemental Hero Air Neos, the so-called Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Is it really forbidden? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. If this channel gets to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, <clears throat> it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Pot of Greed, a piece of Exodia. The possibilities are out there guys. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel. As you guys can tell, the first edition logo is there, and I've had this for, and I've had this for three years. Never got got the chance to open it, but I will open this once we hit a thousand subs. I also got this from my partners at Collector Store, so maybe we can pull pull a pull a collector's rare out of that box because if you guys remember my genesis impact box opening from a while back i also pulled this a collector's rare beat cop from from, from the on the world this camera lens actually this camera actually d does it justice a little bit but it is gorgeous so if you, so if you guys want to see those boxes get opened maybe you guys want more episodes of wwe's biggest issue maybe you guys want more episodes of yukio's biggest issue Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE talk with videos, or maybe just maybe you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel, as my cam, as my phone keeps moving, um, if you guys if you guys want all, all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on, on this video, and follow me on, on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in, in the comments below answering the question, the question of the day, which is this. Which is this. And I'm pretty sure I did this question already, but I want but I want to get your guys' opinion. What would you consider to be the greatest set of 2023 so far? Let me know down in the comments below. Excuse me. Because for today's video, I'm going to be talking about six brand new cards that will be that that will be released in the brand new upcoming core set, Age of Overlord. Now I'm going to be honest. Um. I'm, I'm gonna be honest I never would have imagined that we're that we would be getting like new support for some for some of these archetypes that I'll be talking about in in this video including including the brand new transcend Drake archetype or I guess dinos if, if you will dinos are getting are gonna be getting new support hungry hungry burger is getting even more support um as well which is pretty crazy um even also, uh, also uh, Vanquish Soul is also getting new new support, and we and we also have a brand new card as well that actually the artwork looks amazing. I would I could try and show it off. Let me try. Let me see if I can. Hang on here. I have to admit, guys, that card looks gorgeous. It is a hell of a it is a hell a hell of a beauty. It kind of looks like, whoa, so, sorry guys, camera moved. Um, anyway, it looks like something out of like a, out of like, 
like a, like a isekai an, an anime, if you will. But still, that's actually pretty cool. So, uh, so enough bullshit. Let's get straight into it. Kicking these off with the aforementioned card, it is known as Angel Rain, and it's an equip spell that has three separate effects. And it says you can. It says equip only to a monster you control equipped with another equip card. So this will be perfect with um with decks like Infer like decks like Infernoble Knight, uh, Bad uh, Badland Boxers, because I know that Badland Boxer decks can actually use some of the Infernoble Knight um some of the Infernoble Arms equip spell. So this could be this card could actually be be useful in a deck like that. That's actually pretty cool. Um, and it has three three separate effects. The first one says you can only control one angel rank. So it's so obviously you can only have ha, have one on board, but it's still still it's okay. It's an okay effect. The second effect the second effect reads negate the effect your opponent's first sorry negate the effect of your opponent's first spell or effect that resolves each turn. So this is basically um what was it ma magician's left hand? I think it's left hand. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's, I think it's left hand. Left hand focuses on, on, on the spells. Right hand focuses on, on the trap. So, this, that, that effect is similar to, to the magician's uh, left hand, which is actually not too bad. It's basically, it's essentially a disruption, which is pretty cool. And, and then the third effect reads: Once per turn, you can gain 500 life points. Then destroy this card, and if you do, your opponent cannot target the monster it was equipped to with card effects. So, it acts as sort of like a protection card, if you will. But there is there is a couple of drawbacks. So, there is a major drawback, and and the big drawback is the second effect. And I am, and what I mean by that is, even if the first spell or effect gets get gets negated. If they have multiple copies, that's not that's not a a once per turn. It's not gonna matter. It legit is not going. It's not gonna matter because your opponent can still play that card. So that's the only downside. But it's not too. But it's, but it's an okay card though. I will admit it could be it could be used in like Edison decks maybe. You know you know twenty twenty three Edison or or, or or something like that. Who knows. Who knows? But now we move on into the into the new Vanquish Soul cards. I believe there's like two of them to talk about. And the first one is called Vanquish Soul Xiao Long, which is a five-star fire worm with 2,400 attack and 2,100 defense. If my laptop will continue to scroll down a little bit. There we go. And both of its effects are, are once per turn but they cannot be activated in the same chain. So so the first effect reads, if you reveal a card in the hand to activate a Vanquish Soul card's effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. The second effect, which is a, which is a quick effect, reads, you can activate one of, these, one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with the listed attributes. Fire, change the battle position of one monster on the field, fire and fire, Add one Vanquish Soul card from your deck to your hand, except this card. So, so this is actually, ba th this is essentially a a Cyber Dragon mixed in with like a, with like a sort of like a Stratos effect. Again, I've never worked with a lot of the newer archetypes that 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 we have um, that we have in today's meta, but I have to admit the Vanquish Soul deck is actually actually seems like seems like a, a legit threat to our current meta because of the fact that because of the fact that Kashira got hit drastically with with number 89 bands and with Kashira a rise heart limited to one which is absolutely insane but yet Kashira is still viable case in point you guys saw my Kashira runic deck from what about a month ago or 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 something um, so yeah, it's a pretty nasty deck. If you guys haven't check, checked out that video, I recommend, I recommend you guys check it out, but, but still, 
but still, it's basically Cy Cyber Dragon Stratos. That's all it is. There's not much else else to say about it. Although, although again, there could there again there are drawbacks, and 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 the drawback is the first one. Fire change the battle position of one monster on on the field. So it's sort of like with that with that part of the effect. It's 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 like a mini Book of Moon, but. It's like whatever. It, it it's like whatever. Um, it's it's like whatever, you know. So that but that being said, the second the other new card is Vanquished Soul Snow Devil, which is a normal trap trap, and it's obviously a, a once per turn. And the effect reads: Reveal up to three monsters in your hand, a dark, an earth, and a fire. Apply these effects in sequence based on the number revealed, one or more. Inflict four hundred damage to your opponent. Then you can special summon one Vanquished Soul from your hand. Two or more. Inflict six inflict six hundred damage to your opponent. Also, Vanquish Soul Monster Control cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. In three, inflict eight hundred damage to your opponent. Then you can destroy all monsters on the field. This is basically a really good way to um a good way to basically just write Geki the whole board. If you have if you if you revealed all three monsters. It's a good way to just completely right Geki the whole your opponent's whole board. Or actually rather or or actually rather not not right Geki. Dark hole. Dark hole the, the 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 entire board clean. And you're able to still be able to extend your plays a little bit. Remake remake your board and you can and you can push for game, which in which if your opponent were to see to see this card and they and they know that 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 their opponent would would have would eventually have game on board. Boom, boom, just scoop. Game over. GG, GG. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. There's really not much else to say about it, honestly. But now we move on into the brand new food support, the new hungry burger support, and and the first one is called is called Python. Paisona de Novelle de, de Novelles Novelles, I, I, I believe is how it's pronounced. Which is a one-star dark fairy pendulum with 700 attack, 1700 defense. Its pen skill is eight. The pendulum effect is a once per turn, but the first monster effect is a is a is a once per turn. The pendulum effect reads if you control a ritual monster, you can target a monster on the field. Special special summon this card, then change the targeted monster monster's battle position. So this is again, this is sort sort of like a mini book of moon, but instead of flipping it face down in defense, you're switching, you're basically switching the battle the battle positions of that of that targeted monster, and you can base and and you can just instantly go straight go straight to battle phase depending on what your board looks like and you can just push for game which is pretty cool which is pretty cool the monster effect the first monster effect reads if this card is, is normal or special summon you can activate one of these effects at a level at, at a level one ritual monster or a recipe card from your deck to your hand banish any number of recipe cards from your grave and special summon one novellas monster sorry ritual monster from your hand with a level equal to the number banished. So this is basically Manju on steroids. That's all it is. It's basically it's basically it's basically an, another version of of Manju, but in the form of a pendulum monster. And this one has a second effect, which reads: if it, if if this card on the field is tributed and added to the extra deck face sub, you can place it in your pendulum zone. It's basically a way to reset your 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 pen scales, and you can just push push for game. Though I'm not so sure. Though I'm not so sure if you can if you can if you can pen pendulum some ritual monsters. I'm gonna have to look into that, but I think you can. I think it just uh, no. Actually, you know what? No, not really. Unless if they were pendulum rituals, then yeah, then yeah, obviously you can. But I don't think you are able to. But Still, that's actually not not bad. Being able to to search out hamburger recipe right off the bat, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Next up, we have we we have concours de cuisine or confectionery contest. I, I believe is how it's 
I believe is the uh, is going to be the CCG name is going to be Confectionary Contest, which is a quick play spell, and both of its effects are are once per turn. The first effect reads: Special Summon one Nuvellas Pendulum Monster and one Patasil Pendulum Monster from your hand deck and or extra deck, one on the field, one on each field, and you cannot use. Monsters as material for Refusion, Synchro, Exceeds, or Link Summon for the rest of the turn, except Nuvelas and Patisil Patisil Monsters. Second effect reads, during your main phase, you can banish this card from your grave, then target one face of monster on the field. It gains 200 attack for each recipe card in, in the graveyard. So this, so this will be perfect against the mirror matches. So this would be a good way to push for game, but it all depends on what the board on what the board state looks like and what and who you're what deck you're up against so this is a really good way to <clears throat> to lock to lock yourself out 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 of the extra deck unless the extra deck has any has any novellas monsters in in the extra deck that's not bad that's not bad but it, it's kind of a sort of it's kind of a gimmicky card i guess i guess in my opinion but that's just how I see it. That's just how I see it. But now we move on into the final card that I will be talking about in today's video. It is known as Transcend Transcendosaurus Exoraptor, which is a dark dark dino link three with three thousand attack, and it and its arrows are if I can scroll up a bit left and right. And it requires two or more dy dinos, including a, a level six or higher monster. And it has three separate effects, all of which are once per turn. The first effect reads, if this card is special summon, you can special summon one dino from your hand. So it basically just lets you cyber dragon a monster to your to your board, which is pretty good. It's that and 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 the fun and the funniest part is that it says if this card is special summon, meaning whether it's link summon or special summon from the graveyard. Or the banish pile, you get to cyber dragon a monster from from your hand right off the bat. You can't you can't go go wrong with that. That right there would be something that that uh, Sam Team Samurai X One that Sam would actually play because obviously if you guys if you guys have seen Sam's videos, you guys know that Dinos is one of his specialties. The second effect reads: if if a face up Dino Dino. This card points to is destroyed by battle or sent to the grave. You can draw one card. That that right there is a is is a bit of a is a bit of a dud effect because of the fact that you would have to have one link monster in the in the extra monster zone, and this card on on an arrow that that it points to, and two other dinos, one on each side. Um, so if you have a dino on 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 each arrow that that this card points to yeah it can be it can be a pot of greed but the only downside because of the fact that car because of the fact that that call by is still is still limited to one ash blossom is going to be probably the biggest it is going to be a massive threat to to this card no matter what so this one so this effect it's a bit of a dud it's a bit of a dud effect the third effect reads, if this card is destroyed, you can shuffle one normal monster from, from the grave into the deck, then special summon this card. So this would basically be be a loop. So 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 the third effect and, and the first effect would be would be basically be be the loop. So it so it's actually kind of a fun it's kind of a funny loop because because during because during your because during your turn you would still be able to to special summon just by bringing back this card which is pretty crazy so all in all all in all my thoughts on 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 this card it's a bit of a dud it's a bit of a gimmicky card in in my in, in my personal opinion but guys that's gonna do it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more card card discussions in the future make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and follow me on all my social media. My ads will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash. Signing out.